So what's up everybody? It's Edith Oni here. You know me. I am here about to go on a little, almost a 0.7 mile hike up to an abandoned nuclear missile silo compound. She's calling me. You may or may not have seen my social media post of me going here with Drib and Crystal about three months ago. I actually fell off the side of a mountain about 30 feet. I got really muddy, it was painful. See that there? That there is a hard mode trail. That's the one I took last time. I got up to the, about that middle bush right there. I slipped down about 20, 30 feet and then I crushed my DJI goggles, effed up my antennas. And then I lost my phone near the bush. I got lucky because other hikers were out here with us and they passed me by the time I realized my phone was gone I'm like hey guys anyone see a phone up there literally by the guy's feet my phone was on the ground I got so lucky that day I was freaking out I was in pain didn't have my phone I couldn't call out for help and now I'm back for redemption because I do not believe in letting things get the better of you. Plus, I really want to find a spot. <laughs> so Skylar and I, we drove two and a half hours up. About. Yeah, he's a local San Diego pilot. Really cool dude. Hopefully there'll be more, more of my videos. But yeah, this is our trail. We just gotta follow this up. But look at these views, guys. Absolutely beautiful up here. It's looking to get more beautiful up there. Oh, hey. I'm in walking up a mountain. <laughs> it's actually the best way to do it because you get to see the whole city. Have you guys seen the drone frame edit of Kevlar? I bet you haven't because it hasn't been done yet. But stay tuned because we will be cutting some microhawks out of Kevlar here very shortly and testing out the material that we think will be next generation of drone frame material. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But right now, we're gonna go post up, fly, have some fun, and explore this bando a little bit. Wait, we're standing on top of missile launchers? Just look at all these gaps, guys. Yes, okay, this is an epic spot to start flying. We're gonna be testing out the Microhawk HD 4 cell setup today. A two and a half inch build that flies for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to be ripping it up. I'm not going to be going easy. I'm actually going to see what kind of flight performance we can get out of it while actually flying full on freestyle. Skylar's got some rigs. Larry's got some rigs. And as you can see, we've got some custom carbon fiber plate on the top. The top right here is blue. Oh, sweet. Made here in California by this amazing gentleman. And, uh,. Yeah, we're going to be testing out a lot of materials, finding out which ones we like the best, what layups we like the best, and uh, manufacturing our own frames, as well as the economy plate version, which we've been manufacturing right now. So we're going to give you guys some options. And on top of that, for shipping updates, because you know, a lot of you are waiting, we're going to be starting to ship out the bulk of our orders this next week. Um, we've been waiting on parts to come in, still waiting on the final frames from the manufacturer um, here in America, and we're just, we're just waiting. So... We have pretty much everything else ready to go. I've got everything printed for the 3D mounts. I've got a bunch of extra mounts that weren't gonna come with the kits. That'll come with the kits to make life easier on people. And yeah, I'm stoked. It's gonna be a long week, but I'm looking forward to getting those kits out to everybody that's ordered them. It's been like a month since a lot of people ordered. And I feel bad, but with the coronavirus and everything else, there's been only so much that we've been able to do. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for sticking with us. Hopefully you enjoy this video. I am really stoked to fly here. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun.
just knife edged that from the most odd angle in the world. So you cannot fly through that normally. That was some epic stuff. I'm super stoked. Uh, the Outcast Drumworks batteries are performing really well. I was actually sad because I flew a regular lithium polymer and it was dead before I felt like I was getting in my groove. So I kind of like these. So there's a little less punch because you don't have a, the high nominal voltage as you do with lithium polymer, but you have the longevity. And if you're flowing around, you're not doing a bunch of throttle punches. Honestly, I think this is the way to go. Um, I'm going to be adding this to my rotation of batteries and be building some more just for me. Sorry, you can't have any yet. And I'm going to give it some more goes and have more fun with this. And hopefully we'll have them available soon on the website. Yeah, most carbon fiber drones are using plate from China. And the way they do it is they make thin, thin plates of carbon fiber and they essentially resin it all together. So they're individual plates. When you manufacture this kind of carbon fiber, it's all laid at one time layer by layer with resin, and it creates this like, very strong weave pattern on the side of it, which allows it to have a lot more strength, it's way more durable, and a lot more rigid. So I'm stoked. It's gonna be a much higher grade carbon fiber. We're still gonna have our original carbon fiber, and we're gonna have Kevlar. So it'll be like three versions of the frames. But um, yeah, we're gonna take our time to develop that out. We wanna make sure that these frames are solid, there's no issues, and that when people get them, and they do pay a higher price tag, they're gonna be happy with them. So I'm really stoked for the future of those frames. And thank you so much for all the hard work. You're welcome. I'm stoked. So stoked. Okay, let's play some drones. <laughs>